selfishly, I was hoping maybe he'd feel my face. I've always wanted that from a blind person to be like, oh, let me, let me see what you look like. And I'm like, oh, what do you think? Welcome to This Is Not Happening. I'm your host, Roy Wood Jr., and I just read this whole book. It's oh, even true. Facebook was my idea. No Zuckerberg cut oh, me out. He's lost. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the word prodigy loses all meaning after a while. <laughs> I got Grammys. <laughs> this episode is all about lies. Here's the co-host of the Crab Feast podcast, Jay Larson, everybody. I used to live in New York, and one day I was, I was going to an audition, and I'm walking through the city, and I'm getting on the street, and about 15 feet from me, there's an old blind guy walking, and he just stops, and he just goes, is anybody there? Is anybody there? It's a weird thing to say. But it's New York, there's a good chance someone's there, you know? And I'm just like, immediately, I was like, oh shit. Like, I knew he couldn't see me, but I'd never been invisible before. <laughs> I'm like, am I here? I don't know. And I'm kind of looking at him, and I'm like assessing it. I'm, this isn't going to be, do you know what time it is? You know what I mean? This was going to be a big deal. And I was like trying to figure out, like, do I want to be here? What do I want to do? Now, you know, like when things happen in life, our brains think something. Whether you thought or not, your brain thinks it. It's your first thought. Usually it's a pretty honest thought. Mine was, run. Run right by him. <laughs> yes, you'll feel guilty for a couple of blocks, but at least I'll get to my audition on time. That's all I thought. But then I took a second, I was like, the comedian kicked in and was like, hey, why don't you tiptoe up to him and then whisper in his ear, I'm everywhere. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and let go. That's an amazing gift. Didn't do that. I go, yeah, I'm here, man. And he goes, can you walk me home? Just some old, poor, blind guy that needs someone. To, like, he literally was like, I'm fucked. This is it. I'm done. I'm old. I'm blind. Say, anybody? Summoned around. I'm not doing it, man. And I just happened to be the guy who was there. And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, look at this poor guy. This old guy. He's blind. He's got nobody to walk him home. He's, who knows? He could be lost. I don't know. And I had old people in my family, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, God, I should help out. I'm gonna be old someday. And selfishly, I'm gonna be honest, selfishly, I was hoping maybe he'd feel my face. I've always wanted that from a blind person to be like, oh, let me, let me see what you look like. And I'm like, oh, what do you think? Like, we don't know what they're looking for. Here's a chance to get some insight, you know what I mean? I always wanted to be the kid, like in middle school, that hung out with the handicapped kid. But I didn't have the balls, I was too scared. You know what I mean? How many people were the kid that hung out with the kid that had some disability? <laughs> exactly! So stop judging me! <laughs> I was too afraid and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, it's so amazing. Like, I get afraid to be around people because I'm like, they're gonna think I don't wanna be around them or they're gonna not like me. And I'm like, here's my chance. You know what I mean? Here's the guy, I go, let's go, man. Let's walk home. And I, First of all, I have no idea how long he's been blind. I'm treating this guy like he's been blind his whole life. I'm walking with him, I go, there's a woman in a window, she's got a red dress, she's watering a plant. <laughs> like as if the guy's never seen him, I don't know. And he goes, so? And I was like, oh. <laughs> then I go, we're walking by a brick building, I go, if you reach out your hand, there's a brick building, have you touched brick? I said, have you touched brick before? <laughs> And he goes, I'm fine. He yelled at me like two times and I'm like, Jesus, dude. When are we gonna play Checkers Weekly if this is how you react to people? <laughs> like I'm looking for a bond here, I'm looking for a relationship and this guy's coming at me with this. And I'm like, this isn't like what I expected. You know what I mean? I thought it was gonna be like scent of a woman and like this would be. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh, this guy's kinda, you know, not who I thought he, I thought he was gonna be this sweet guy and he's yelled at me a couple times and it didn't smell great, and I was just like, I didn't want to judge, but he was rude. And then we get to an intersection, and I go, okay, man, let's go. Everything in New York, you know, is streets and avenues. And the lights were set up that we could cross, and then cross, and then continue on. But every day, he crossed this way, and then that way. So I go, all right, man, let's go. And he goes, now we cross this way, and then we cross that way. 
And I was like, in my head, I was like, yeah, but I can fucking see, dude. And we're good to go. That's why I'm here. This is my job right now. And he didn't let me. And I was like, no, I think we'll be okay. And I gave him a little tug. Not a little, you guys. <laughs> and I, I pulled him, which you're not supposed to do. And he got upset and he just came over and kicked me. <laughs> Have you ever been kicked by a blind person? Do you know what that, is? I mean, one for one. It wasn't like he wasn't searching. He just went and got it. <laughs> so outside of me being a little impressed by like how he found that, the pain <laughs> was almost on unba- He clipped me right, it was like a little graze. Zzz, and it shot up through my head. And I went right back to that first thought and I was just like, throw him into traffic. Just throw him into traffic. <laughs> and people asked him like, I don't know, you got disoriented. I tried, no, I don't know. And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna have a homicide on my hands. You know what I mean? It was a Tuesday. <laughs> so I was like, Maybe for fun, I could just spin him around a couple times and be like, now where's North? Now where's North? <laughs> Thought that would probably... I was a Boy Scout. I didn't do any of that. I'm like, I'm going to walk him home. Walk him home. We get to his doorstep. He lives like on a five-floor walk up. I go, hey, man, do you want me to help you inside? He goes, no, nah, it's okay. I got it. I'm like, all right, have a good day. And he goes, well, hold on a second. Let me give you a couple bucks. And I was just like, I'm like, no, I don't even want to, I don't want anything. I did my thing. I'm out. And I go, I'm good. I'm fine. He goes, nope. Let me give you a couple bucks. And I'm like, all right. He wants to pay for a service. I'm going to give him that. I'm like, okay. And I'm just sitting there looking at him, waiting. He's like going through his wallet. And I think what blind people do, they mark the bills so they know the dollar value. He only had three bills in his wallet. A single, a single, and a hundred. Okay. And I'm looking at this dude. I'm kind of over. I just want to get out of here. And he pulls out the two singles, right? And he's reaching out to me. And very gently, I just put my hand on his arm and I go, sir, I don't mean to offend you, but you're handing me $101 right now. And for the first time in our interaction, he smiled. And he said, it's nice to know there are some honest people in the world. And he put back one of the dollars and he pulled out the hundred. (laughs) And he reached out to me and he said, you're a good person. And I took the money from him and I said, no, you're a good person. (laughs) And people say there's a price for everything, you guys. And apparently the price to give an old blind man some happiness and some renewed faith in the world, it's a (laughs) hundred. That's not really your laugh. (laughs) She swallowed a clown and then a frog jumped out of her face. What happened to you? (laughs) All right. So I just want to say that I've seen how some of you are looking at me and I want you to know that that day I felt really bad about what happened. And as I was getting on the subway, there was like a homeless guy there and I was looking at him and I'm feeling bad at the whole thing and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. And I gave that guy the single and I felt good about it. I felt like, I felt like someone was really released from my shoulders. Hey, I'm Jay Larson, you guys. Thank you so much. Jay Larson, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>